Right then, today is the day we finally move this mess that is just the messy, horrible corner of the house. So this temporary mess that's been powering the place for ages now is finally moving out to the shed. I'm going to run a, a 240 volt cable back to, to the house. So I've got to go and dig up a bit of cable and move some bits and stuff and disconnect all this, take it out to the shed and uh, we'll get this area sorted out and tidy. Okay, so I built this little cupboard under here recently, and for now, until this uh, until this whole shed gets turned into a dedicated sort of power shed with all big battery bank and all other stuff that I plan to do with it once I've got the proper workshop built, and that's where the batteries are going to live. So it's all sealed off and everything. It's got a nice little box. It should be batteries should be fine in there. The hydroelectric power and everything is all going to come into the batteries in there. So I've got to get all the cables dug up and and um, and run into here. And uh, to be honest with you, I have been dreading it. So you can see there where the cable's buried. <clears throat> so I'm going to dig down about halfway to where I want it. So I'm going to dig down here and then try and pull it out under the earth rather than trying to dig it all up and then do that in sections till I get back to where I want to be, which isn't that far. It's only just a uh, 15 meters or something. Oh, I've got to be really careful here because I do not want to go through the cables because my internet cable is under here as well. I can't remember how deep it is either. Don't think it's too much deeper than that. Is that it just there? No. Right, so I found it down there but it is in conduit I didn't think I'd put it in conduit but it is and that makes my job a little bit harder so I don't know I might have to dig it all up so I'm gonna do a bit of thinking and figure it out right it wasn't in conduit well it's not in conduit it's uh, that was the water pipe silly me I forgot the water pipes also under there as well so I've cut the other end I'm gonna try and see if I can pull that out under here <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work, but I'll give it a go. This is a horrible job. I've been dreading doing this. Cold, muddy, freezing hands. Right. That's, oh, yeah, it's coming. That's good. Okay. It is actually moving. I'm going to pull that out and then do it again a bit further up. Found uh, cables in another hole a bit further back, so just pull them out and then start running some conduit towards the shed. Right, I've got the cable pulled out. Now I've got to uh, run some of this water pipe here and use that as conduit to the shed and then um, pull, a, pull a string through and then pull the cables through that. And do this fairly quickly otherwise because obviously I've got no power at the moment. So it's got to be done today, really. Out so it transitions a bit nicer. Should be about right. Alright, the uh, cable and conduit are buried now. So it's time to uh, pull a string through, pull the cable into the shit. So I'll try and, sorry, I'm a bit out of breath. I've been digging a trench, which has been hard work. So I've got to pull this. Uh, Cable 
this conduit, so I need some string, so I use my string line. I'm going to put a bit of plastic bag on the end of it and then suck it through the hoover is the, is the plan. So we just wrap a bit of plastic bag around that with a bit of a fluffy tail. And then I'll put another half hitch on that. It's going to go in the pipe on the other end. I'm going to suck it with the hoover. You should pull the string through. Right, so that goes in there like that. And then we need enough string laid out that isn't going to get caught up on anything. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Sure, it is. Got caught up. Surprise, surprise. Let's feed it through a little bit. There it is. Let's see. Should be in here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Awesome. So now we've got string through the pipe. Pull the cable into the shed. Okay, I do not want this to pull off inside the uh, inside the conduit because I mean I have to do it all again. So that isn't ideal. So put a load of. Uh, half hitches on this. If there's anyone out there that does this for a living and I'm doing it all wrong, feel free to correct me, but as far as I know this is a this isn't a, a bad way of doing it. So we're gonna put that feed that in there like that. And then start pulling that cable in. Oh no, we're going around the wrong wrong side. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Ah I have to move the uh, what div. Yeah. I just have to move the other cable around it. Okay, I'll do that and then we'll go in the shed and pull it through. Right, let's start pulling this. See how we get on. It's coming. Pull it in to here as much as we need, tidy it up out there, bury it again. Okay, starting to get some batteries and stuff moved up here. I um, haven't been doing a lot of filming because it's quite tight in there, I can't really show you what I'm doing. And also I'm sort of rushing to try and get this hooked up so I don't waste all the sun today. Because I've got to get this done and connected up, so otherwise I'm not going to have any power tonight. Um, I just realised I could do with another... Um, RCD on this end, but I don't have one, so for tonight I'm just going to have to connect this armoured straight to a plug and plug that into the inverter just to give me power for tonight and then tomorrow I'll have to figure out a way of doing that, terminating that properly and safely with a with an earth rod outside. Okay, so got it hooked up, got some power coming in again, so now I've just got to do some finalising jobs. I've got to run the armoured cable back out of the house and do a few connections and tidy up because look at the state of this. I need to just take a couple of days, um, stop with all the projects and just sort out all this mess because it's no good. It's not bad, it's just firewood piles and stuff but I just need to get organised. I've got tools everywhere, stuff everywhere. So just need to get organised and sorted out and tidied up. And I'll feel better then, but I need to get this done first and then I can organise the house better because I have more space. I can put power out in here so I don't have to have this generator in the middle of the floor. Lots of things to be done, um, just yeah, need to get organised, sorted out and get these jobs done and keep keep a positive attitude and, and keep at it. Okay, so 
got that wired up in there, it's all working. I've just got the armoured cable going to a plug, um, that was a battle to do that. Essentially it's just an armoured extension lead is what I've got. Um, not the safest thing but I'm going to fix it, it's just so I don't have, I'm not sitting in the dark tonight. So that goes down to the house now where I'm going to take you in where it's all connected up. Okay, this is really cool. I've got the uh, power run into an RCD. So I'm going to plug in the lamp here. Open that. Hopefully, we don't get any bangs. Ready? On. Haha! <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so just uh, tidying up time now because. I made a right old mess doing that, look at the state of it, so get tidied up, organised, I've got to tidy in here, I've got to tidy in the shed, I've got to tidy outside, just need to spend a couple of days getting organised, but no longer got batteries and noisy inverter and all that horrible stuff in here, so I can I can use this for the space here now, I might even put a washing machine in there. Alright, so I'm going to leave this video there because it's already long enough, so I'm sure I get lots of dislikes from electricians saying I've done everything wrong and everything, but it's um I'm happy with it, I'm happy that it's safe for now and it's not gonna cause any fires or anything like that, see. So, and I'm gonna keep an eye on it and I'm not gonna run any large amounts of current through it, see. So. Um yeah, I'm not an electrician but I do I do understand electricity, so I'm I'm pretty confident with it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.